everybody I am back <laughs> um, so today I'm actually going to put makeup on I know you're shocked um, but something came in the mail a couple days ago and I'm going to review it um, so I don't know how to put on lashes I don't know how to wing my eye um, that picture you see of me like on my YouTube banner where I have like that eye thing I did that with just drawing with a, um what do you call it eyeliner pencil jeez i just drew that on with a pencil and then just kind of winged it out but that's the best i can do um but i saw like a social media maybe instagram i saw this on one of them and it's called glamnetic so basically the liner the black liner that you put over your eye it has magnetic particles in it so when you put it on the lash is magnetic so swoop, it just adheres to it because of course it's magnetic so i saw that and i was like this is the answer to my prayers so i got some i got my mom some i'll figure out what the price was i want to say like the liner the black liner i think it was 30 and the lashes themselves may have been like 20 so it was expensive but luckily glamnetic because i'm poor i can't be afforded stuff um, <laughs> but luckily glamnetic um they do um is it afterpay it's one of them it's either afterpay or quad pay and if you're familiar with either either one of those you basically just pay in portion so i think for this um, I'm going to be paying like $15 every couple weeks until I pay it off. So I can deal with that. Um, so let me get started. I don't have anything in particular in mind. I'm just going to put on some eyeshadow, some foundation, um, do my eyebrows and then put the lashes on. And I love this packaging. Isn't that pretty? And put the lashes on and see how it works out. Um, but like I've said in other videos, I am not a makeup person. I can barely adhere it to myself. And if you notice any black spots in my teeth, <laughs> don't say anything. I just, um, I got off work maybe about an hour or two ago and I took a shower and I, um, I don't do it often, but I brush my teeth with activated charcoal. I do it maybe once a month or so. And I just did it. And of course, when you do it, sometimes um, you do it, then you brush your teeth normally. But sometimes it'll leave like black rings around your teeth. So if you see anything crazy looking, it's just a charcoal. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and do my skincare routine really quickly. Um, hmm, I haven't been doing it long. Maybe, how long have I been doing it? I started right after I uploaded that um haul from ikea because i got the bot the bio oil that day and i think i showed the routine that day maybe um but i don't know if i see any improvement my skin is definitely i feel like a bit softer um but as far as dark spots i don't see too much improvement of course i have these scales on this side that i don't know where they came from this side isn't great but it's not super terrible foreheads not great um but the Curology burned me. So I really want to get rid of this and these scales here. I don't know what this is, Jesus. Pray for me. Um, but I'm going to put something on, I guess. I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to do some kind of eye color because I feel like what's the point of lashes without eyeshadow? I'm going to put some foundation on. I am going to put hair on. <laughs> um, I have a wig from Wish that I'm going to put on. And just to see how it does it has a bang like a chinese bang on it so i'm gonna put that on and see how it looks so let me go ahead and get started so here's the roller um each time you use it you sanitize it in well i have 99 percent alcohol but and since my face is bare there's nothing on it where there is some um shave like aftershave do that i got with my dollar shave club kit that i put on because I shaved <laughs> um but but for the most part my skin is bare i don't have anything else on it no moisturizer or anything so i'm gonna go ahead and derma roll i hope because i got a new tripod and i hope that i'm not too far away Let me sanitize it really quickly and I just use 
99% alcohol. I just pour it on there. Let me go ahead and do that really quickly. After you finish rolling, I said it in the first video that I did the roll. But after you finish rolling, you feel sort of like an uncomfortable tingling sensation. Um, so let me use... I use the bio oil first because it's lighter than the cream. So this is the bio oil. Then I go after it with the Air Organics Complete. Can you see that? So, first thing I'm going to do is put on a bit of setting spray. And this is just cheapo Vajon Labs matte spray because my skin is so oily and I just put all that oil in there. So, and I still don't know if this stuff works or not, but I have a lot left, so I'm going to use it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do are my brows. I usually do those first anyway. Here's my Sephora Pro Brow brush that I love. So first thing I'm gonna do, and I have my mirror here, gonna gonna bring up my eyebrows, kind of shape them a bit. And I literally have not had my eyebrows arched in four months four to six months at least because i wasn't really leaving the house before quarantine that much but they're not too bad i haven't tried them i haven't tried to arch them myself either because that would be a disaster but they're not too bad for just growing out so wild during this time so they're semi-shaped this one has more hair than this one so just kind of have to work with it and just try to make this one a bit thicker. Just really bring the hairs up and exaggerate them. Is what I try to do. This is my eyebrow brush right here. This itty bitty bitty one right here. And I'm sorry about the, see this little ray right here? This is coming through the blinds is twilight the sun's going down and this is my brow pomade that i use um it's soft brown the brand love i got this from like a beauty supply store and i just love it okay so i dip it in get both sides pretty coated but not super thick wipe it on the rim if you get too much and then I just start at the bottom down here and just sort of do a shape. Just kind of drag it like so. So once I have like a line there, that's a little off, but everything I do is off. So once I have like a line there, I go across the back top right here, just, just right here. I don't go all the way to the front of the top brow. You just take it down on the wing and then connect them together and come up and connect with that bottom line there and this is made exceedingly more difficult just by the eyebrows being super thick and i take it and bring it up a bit to kind of fade it in some fade that harsh line in some And it looks crazy at first, but when I um, get the concealer going, it looks a lot better. Just 
There we go. So that's one. Let me change the position and see if that does a bit better. So I feel like this light is kind of washing out my face. Now this side's washed out, but I am gonna leave it over here just for this eyebrow though. Pomade again. looks pretty good right there like I said I did that line going and they're pretty thick but I am gonna you know fix them get the other one so I'm done with the pomade for now um, let me go ahead and get so with the Sephora brush I'm gonna go ahead and use this end right here the slanted end but let me go ahead and use the spoolie some and just shape it a bit more in case it There we go, whatever shape you did the drawing in, shape it that way. And I use my Coastal Scents um, concealer. Let me get one. Sorry for the noise. Here are my Coastal Scents concealer, camouflage palette, excuse me. I have two, one is kind of old and the other is old too, but it's the most recent I have. Let me see which one this is. Well, this is an example of how much use I've gotten. I've used, I've literally had this for years. So it's probably technically expired, but I don't have any problems with it. So, and I like to use this light shade here. I used to use this exclusively, but of course I've used it all up. So to get this, I have to use this light shade and this dark shade here and I mix them together. Just kind of get some on both sides and I use this little piece here to mix them. Just get some, put them there, get some of this dark, put that there too, a little bit more light. And just follow that line and try to make it as clean as possible, which I'm not doing. And just really try to follow the arch that you made with the line. And you want to get the other side of the tail here, see? Bring it up over the top. And then just bring it straight to the front here. And this is where you can really shape the size of the brows or you can bring this line down because I only line remember the bottom and like the back part so if you need to bring it down with concealer make it a bit more um, make it a bit smaller or better looking I guess I don't know the term but y'all I'm not a guru but that's what you can do This down. And I watched a brow tutorial from one of my favorite ASM artists. Um, her name is Whispers Red. And she said once that the eyebrows shouldn't be twins, they should be cousins. So they're supposed to be slightly not the same, but I don't subscribe to that ministry. I try to make it as uniform as possible. And they're both pretty much done. Um, so what I do now is get my flat brush right here. Can you see it? It's just a flat brush. And I bring it down. So I bring my eyes up like this and I bring it down. Let me see if I can yeah. bring it down, bring it down, bring it down onto the lid. And if you're like me and you have all this extra hair under your eyebrow, it's okay to use this and get a bit more concealer and put it on some of that hair. You don't want to clot it up because that'll just look stupid. But 
it is okay to use a bit extra just for that hair. It's this flaky thing on my face. Let me see. Okay, so those are the brows. Let's see if I can get in the middle. So, brows done. So now, let's go ahead and do the eye look, whatever that may be. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is get my white. This is the LA Colors version. Let me find the NYX pencil. Here it is, a bit smashed. Here it is. It's a bit smashed, but I still have some product left. So I'm just going to go over my eyes. I use this as a primer. Then I'm going to take my angled brush right here and get some uh, brown. Let me use and my favorite brown palette that I have is this LA Colors little cheapy cheapy palette. I think I got this from a dollar store. But I like to use this dark shade right here. It's pretty much the only one that's been used. So just use that. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, dab. And like to shape the outside like so. Bring it in. And then bring it up like so. So this cuts out a good amount of the blending you have to do because this has that angle on it. And it's fluffy. This is a Sonia Kashuk brush. I got this in a set of like five brushes and a holder for like five dollars at target years ago and i love it there we go so you got the outside same thing with this get the outside and i want I'm actually going to use another color from this sort of as a transition so i'm going to take my uh, morphe 513 brush can you see that it's not acting right it needs to be clean but they all do so i'm going to take this uh sort of shade here and i know what this is like a lighter brown I'm gonna take this shade and tap, tap, tap it. And tap, tap. And just sort of blend. And this brush already had like some shimmery, like a shimmery red color. <laughs> so I think that that's coming off too. And this. <laughs> Stick to the same little palette. I'm gonna use a different brush this time. I'm gonna use uh, just this MAC 224. I don't think it has anything on it. Where's my matte black? Here we go. I have a matte carbon. This is a matte black from MAC. And I've had this forever. And I've barely used anything out of it, see? I've had it forever. So I'm just really gonna do a light tap 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 and then just get this very far end here and darken it a bit I don't want to bring it in any just really get the outer V <laughs> I 
there we go and now i'm gonna do the gold shade so i'm actually gonna use this saturn palette that i unboxed in the beauty glaze planetary wish set i've never used this see the little wrapper still on it so i'm gonna take this brush here is like a i guess a wide eyeshadow brush it doesn't have a name it's from a wish set i'm gonna take this orangey matte color here and i've never used this palette before Ooh. i'm gonna just do right on the lid and this is just to get it ready for the gold and to kind of make it pop i don't know if it's just a problem because i have fat hooded eyes but it's difficult to get that inner corner so there we go and now i'm just gonna take my finger and i'm gonna do a wash on these brushes soon i promise and get this very very gold at the top right here and just rub it in good and then put it right there like that This is a really nice palette for them to have been the price they were. This is really pretty. Not my makeup job, the palette. <laughs> okay, and I'm also gonna take, where's my brush? I have a makeup wipe here. I'm gonna take my Moda 420 detail brush that needs washing. I'm gonna take this lighter gold shade here. For the inner. And I do wanna do a better transition. I'm gonna use this color right here just so I won't have that hard line there I'm done with the eyes there's not much else I can do with this um, I am gonna line the bottom This is why I pretty much stopped wearing liner in college because I just can't do it. <laughs> I, <start crying. laughs> I think I just started doing like the outside of my eye. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize. Um, some moisturizer that absolutely does not work is the Smashbox moisturizer, but I think but it cost me $30, so I'm trying to use it. I literally had to stake this for years, this little container for years. <sighs> years, and I'm only like, what? A little more than half done with it. So, put this on. I don't know how to contour, but I try. So I'm gonna use this Juvia's Place concealer that I have. And I'm gonna use this really, really dark shade from Black Radiance to try to contour. So, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. So 
don't be too harsh. Uh, I'll take it under the ass. Take it on the forehead, down the nose. I'm pretty sure. Problem areas. I have a lot of marks on my chin from just razor bumps and shaving and just being generally unlucky in skincare. So we have that and I'm gonna use some of this black shade here to go like right here, right here, right here, right there, right there. Right there, and it doesn't work next to my nose, but I can try. Nothing contours my nose, it's so big. And let me see, I'm just gonna do like that. Choose the lines different. I'm gonna use this flat kabuki from Lamora got it from i think i told you guys about this brush on another video joy um Shabby's, she's a dancer in futures baby's mom she recommended it i think it was like eight dollars so and i try to blend them together i think well that's what i do blend them together so start on your eye bring it down get this darkness bring it back I don't need concealer now. I mean, on foundation, but I'm gonna put a bit on. I'm gonna take this blender right here. I think this is clean actually. And I'm gonna take a little bit of the Fenty Pro Filter concealer in 420. I don't think I was matched correctly for this at the um, ultra store. Is it broken? Oh no! Look, it's broke. I'm gonna have to get this out of here. So I'm gonna take uh, some of my NYX matte finish spray. Spray a little on the blender. And then dip it in the makeup. I really don't need foundation after this look but i feel like i'm super white so i'm gonna try to use this to make it a bit more brown and now i'm going to put on some chapstick because my lips are dry because i had the shower where's my chapstick here we go just use blistex And I'm gonna try to do that baking process that people do. I got, I showed you guys this wish powder. Let me, ooh. This is what the top looks like. Here we go. And I'm gonna, where is that brush? This brush here would be a small taper brush. I'm gonna use this to put it on. So I'm gonna dip it in there, get a good amount on. And put it right under there. Probably not doing this right. Usually people use like a sponge. I think I'm supposed to be using a sponge. Go up the nose. Now, is this, come on, let me know. Is baking to stop oiliness or is it to keep the makeup on longer? 
like the concealer if you do it right is that to keep it longer because it goes in like the t-zone areas what's the purpose of baking <laughs> Probably should have used a sponge. I'm gonna wash this too. I'm probably gonna wash them tomorrow morning. Since I'm off, praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord. Let me clean up a bit and I'll just let it bake while I'm cleaning up. I'll be back. Okay, so I've been baking for long enough. Let me wipe it off. And I'm gonna wipe it off with this new brush that I got from Wish. Isn't it pretty? I've already used it once, but I think you just wipe it off like so. I said a prayer and listened to the rest of church service while it was baking, so I hope it comes out okay. I feel like anytime I use foundation, it's never full covered. Okay. I'm going to do a bit of highlight. I'm going to use the Ellen Tracy highlighter. I think I'm going to use this here since it's closer to the gold in my eye. I'm going to use this right here. This is the brush that came with it. <laughs> I how you put highlighter on. Mmm. I don't think I've used this shade before. I used the blue and the, I think this silver right here. I don't think I've used this before. And I was going to do, I'm going to wash that. I have a bunch of brushes that I'm going to wash. I just kind of piled them on the vanity. I have a lot more too. Jeez. I was going to do this blush, but I don't know if it matches. I think this might be, is this the only blush I have? I have blush, another blush somewhere. Here it is. I knew I wasn't crazy. So this is a love cream blush. Do you see how dusty this is? I have not used this probably ever. It smells like candy. So it's like a lighter shade. I'm gonna try this and see if I can rub it in some. Let me wipe the top off since I haven't used it in so long. See if it's still some life in it, old girl. Some life in it, I guess. turn out bad i feel like every time i put makeup on i somehow start looking like i don't have makeup on and the makeup just starts looking bad i feel like i'm at that stage now for this look i don't know why but i think it might be the wrong products i swear i've been watching youtube makeup videos for well over a decade and i still haven't mastered anything so let me put the lashes on and then i'm gonna put my hair on um, but let me do my powder first. I'll use this big fluffy brush. I need some more. It's almost gone. This is my favorite powder ever. This MAC um, mineralized skin finish. I need some more. And I totally forgot about a lip. My mind. I'm going to use this Kiss Professional um, lip liner and the color is Deep Plum Purple. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to use, um, since I have the gold eye, I'm going to use this Kylie um, lip kit in King K. I know you can't see this. It's King K, the Kylie. 
and I can't use it by itself because it's so light I look like a clown so what I like to do is let me get close Ooh, camera do better let me get close I like to just line my lips with this and it's very pigmented Ooh. take the Kylie lipstick and get the middle and this smells like some kind of candy the other one has a like a candy smell too I don't know It looks better in person, I swear. See the gradient? Okay. And I'm pretty much done with the makeup look. That's all right. Okay. And I'm gonna put my hair on and the lashes. So, actually, let me put the lashes on first, then I'll put my hair on just to see like how everything turns out. So, here they go. Here they go. Let me go ahead and open them up. You don't need the box cutter, it just comes open like so. And this is pretty here are the kit so this is the glamnetic liquid magnet eyeliner let's see if I can get that to focus and this is the glamnetic lashes so they have different type sizes of lashes but I got Virgo because I don't wear lashes. I've never worn lashes ever like out and about. I've tried to put them on a few times, but it was a disaster. It's pretty. Let me open it up. Here we go. So it's like a plastic piece and a hard holographic back. It has a little pull string. It's pretty. And of course these lashes are reusable. They're stuck to like a magnetic strip in there, if you can see it. And then the glamnetic um, liner. And it's just in black. Jeez. And this is it right here. Okay. Just like a, looks like a regular tip. Let's give it a try, honey. Jesus. Do y'all need tweezers for this? Um, I have a pair here if I need them. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. I think you're supposed to do that first. In all the tutorials I see, they curl their lashes. I've seen some people curl it with the fake lashes on, but I feel like that's like a hazard to get them to come off, so it seems counterproductive. I wish me luck, jeez. I'm just gonna wipe most of this off. And it's supposed to adhere pretty easily from the video. You can see it. it's supposed to adhere pretty easily. So I'm just gonna start in the middle, which is how I... <laughs> Do a wing thing here, it's not working out. Let me get to the 
Just didn't turn out too bad. <sighs> Try this this side here. So start in the middle, go straight to the other side. I probably shouldn't be trying to wing this, but I think it's strange to cut it off. Wire on if you're not gonna attempt to wing. Okay. I don't feel like there's a lot of product in here. Like, this is literally $30. Uh, maybe I wasn't going in. This is actually bought it before. Each use, I didn't do that for best results. Apply when liner is 80% dry, dissolved in warm water. How much is in here? It doesn't say 0.27 ounces, $30. So it says when 80% dry. I really didn't do too bad. If you look close enough, it looks bad, but far back, it's not too bad. Try to get the corner. So the tutorial says get the corner first. Oh, wait a minute now. Okay, it's sticking a little bit. Do I need more in the corner? Oh, look now. Come on now, Glam I didn't pay this money for nothing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Darkness, my old friend. Okay, that's a little bit better. I stuck it on with the. You're supposed to push it in. The video says push it in. I feel like this is secure. I feel like it'll come off at any second. Maybe I'm giving it too much dry time. I try this again. I'm just gonna go over it. I'm not happy. It's supposed to be easy. This looks strange. See, there's a gap right there. Let me try to pull it down. So. I don't know. You're supposed to be able to do a pull test. Let me see. <laughs> I'm sending these back. They're not working. I'm gonna try this one more time. Let me try to wipe it off a little bit. I feel like it's coming up and it is. Look at that. This is, these are going back. I'm not paying 60 bucks for these. They're on, I guess. Hmm. Not happy. I feel like they're gonna fall off. But they'll stick, but this isn't a good enough stick to last all day, I don't think. And I don't think I have to have worn lashes to know that.
Now I know I'm a novice, but this ain't right. I'm shaking it up. I'm gonna put this on faster while it's wet. It's like really wet and see how it does. Cause I already put some on, but I think it has to be wet for it to actually work. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get that. Oh crap. Hello darkness, my old friend. So that's trying to stick better. Let me see if this will work. Gotta stick it right here. Now it could be me. I totally admit that. But I don't think it's totally me. I think it's these lashes. I don't like this. I'm not happy with it. I don't feel like it's worth what I pay, and I'll show exactly what I pay it for. Um, I'm just gonna go over it, try to hide it a bit. I don't feel like this looks good. Um, like I said, it could be my skill, but I don't know if it is. Let me try to curl it. I'm gonna do the MAC Foss Lashes mascara. I just don't think this is right. These are going back. I would have been better off. Actually, I think the mascara is like to push your lashes into the fake lashes, right? Or when I pull, I feel like, I feel like I can pull any harder. It's just all gonna come undone. <laughs> better with the mascara <sighs> I just don't like it Let me put a wig on <laughs> there's a stocking cap I could at least oh my god is it coming off already oh jeez can you see I want the bang to be covering everything. So this is the finished look. With the $60 lashes that don't adhere correctly. So, oof. I think I'm going to process a return. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. This I'm going to try to edit it down, but this might be a pretty long video. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Um, have you tried Glamnetic? Give me some information about it. Um, but I'm not happy with it. I'm, I'm going to process a return. So, And I'll include some of the better pictures with all this, out all this washed out light as well. Bye.